Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope we'll all have a good time today. Now, mommies and nannies and grandmas or whoever's with you will uh, stay with the program and support it and help you uh, join in and get the most out of it. So here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, absolutely. Well, do you have a birthday? Do you know when your birthday is? Mine is in October when it's fall and it gets colder out and the leaves start to fall. But sometimes people have birthdays all throughout the year, right? And there's a special birthday coming up next week and it's the birthday of our country, the United States of America, right? And this is a flag. And what does that flag tell you? That it represents the United States of America, right? And this, this little guy, this is Uncle Sam, and he sort of represents the government of our country. Yeah, he's Uncle Sam. And who represents us up in the sky? But the bald eagle, right? That's our country bird. And our, our country is going to be 245 years old. So what do you think of that? That's pretty old, right? How old are you going to be? Hmm? Yankee Doodle went to town a riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. Come on, help help the horse sing. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle, get dandy. Mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. Come on, we'll all try, right? You're not a you're not a pony? I know, but today you're going to be a pony, okay? Okay. Yankee Doodle went to town a riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. <gasps> Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle, dandy. Mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> that is kind of a fun song, isn't it? Huh? Well, let's see what we've got here. We've got We've got a game. Do you like to play games? The pretend games? I do. And let's pretend we're going to go hunting. We're going to go hunting for all sorts of things. Let's see. Oh, what, what can we hunt for? Why don't we hunt for a fox? Hmm, shall we? Oh, hunting we will go. Hunting we will go. We'll catch a fox and put him in a box. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a whale and put him in a pail. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a goat and put him in a boat. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a snake and put him in a cake and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. Let's see what else we're gonna catch. We're gonna catch a what? A mouse, a mouse and put him in a mouse. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a lamb and put him in a pram. It's a little baby carriage. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a pig and put him in a wig. What's that? Pretend head of hair, right? Whoops, you can't see that way. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go. We'll hunting we will go. We'll catch a skunk and put him in a, a bunk. And then we'll let him go. 
Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a fish and put him in a dish and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a bear and put him in underwear and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a brontosaurus and put him in the chorus and then we'll let him go oh hunting we will go a hunting we will go we'll just pretend and in the end we'll always let them go oh sure oh sure let's get this out of the way there we go and it's time for wizzy wizard Wizzy Wizard has a tip for all our caregivers. Just little important things to think of during the day to help your child with their language and literacy. <clears throat> when you choose books, choose books that you enjoy and your children pick up in your feelings and the understanding that the enjoyment of books is uh, really uh, tangible. Uh, talk with your children about why you like that book and uh, you're helping your children connect books and reading with enjoyment, and they will want to learn to read on their own. So here we go. <clears throat> well, this is kind of a fun book. I see a birthday present. I see a lot of, a lot of birthday presents, all sorts of, of people and animals coming to a birthday party, my gracious. And it's called Not Last Night, but the Night Before by uh, Colin McDonald. And this is kind of a fun book. Let's see if I can get this a little closer. There we go. Not last night, but the night before. And here I am all by myself. Oh, I look kind of lonely, don't I? Not last night, but the night before. <laughs> Three black cats came knocking at my door. I came downstairs to let them in. They knocked me down like a bowling pin. Look at that. But what do they have? I see something wrapped up. Oh, looks like a present to me. Not last night, but the night before. Uh, the man in the moon came knocking at my door. He rushed right in. He didn't stop. He spun me around like a spinning top. Look at that. There goes the man in the moon upstairs. Hmm. Not last night, but the night before. Three little pigs came knocking at the door. They roared right in like a choo-choo train and knocked me down on my back again. And who's, who's coming along too, huh? The wolf? Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious, fancy that. Whoops, sorry. Not last night, but the night before, a little Bo Peep came knocking at the door. And look, she has a little black faced sheep there. Goodness gracious, fancy that. She darted in and knocked me flat. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like she found her sheep too, right? <clears throat> Not last night, but the night before, little Miss Muffet knocked on my door. <clears throat> I opened the door, she opened it wider. And I got squished by a big fat spider. Not last night, but the night before, Jack and Jill came knocking at my door. Jack rolled in and shrieked with laughter and Jill came tumbling oh, just after, whoops. 
and she tripped. What did they have? Huh? Not last night, but the night before, three blind mice came knocking at the door. Where did they have had little glasses on? The farmer's wife, oh, fiddle I pee. I saw her, but she didn't see me. Up, oh, and she knocked me down again. And there they go racing up the stairs. Wonder what's going on up there. Not last night, but the night before, Goldilocks came knocking at the door. I thought that she'd come on her own. Crash, bang, walk. Well, I might have known. Who'd she come with? The three bears. Oh my goodness. It looks like they have presents too. Hmm. Not last night, but the night before. Mr. Punch came knocking at the door. And there's someone we don't know too much about. He's, a, he's an old uh, British uh, character. Judy, baby, and crocodile too said, good evening, and how do you do? Now that's the way to do it. Yes. Not last night, but the night before. There was no more knocking on my door. A glass was tapped, ting, ting, ting. And all of a sudden, they began to sing. Ah, oh, happy birthday to you. Squash tomatoes and stew. Bread and butter in the gutter. Happy birthday to you. Oh, look at that, a big birthday party for me. Not last night, but the night before. I spread my gifts on the bedroom floor. The house was still, there wasn't a peep. I went to bed and I fell asleep. And look at all those lovely gifts he was, he was given. But look who came too late, who came too late. Oh, the cow that jumped over the moon and the dish who ran away with a spoon. Huh? All the nursery rhymes came to my birthday party. What a fun treat that was. Well, since it's going to be our birthday, the whole USA, let's sing happy birthday, shall we? Oh, what happened to my, huh, my, my cake? There we are, 245. Now I couldn't put that many candles on the cake, could I? Whoops, you can't see that. What's that? <clears throat> there we go, how's that? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear USA. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you, USA? How old are you now? 245 years old. Seems like a lot of years, right? But it's not very old for a country. No, we're still, we're still progressing. That's right. And well, what we're gonna do is put, put the cake away and we're going to replace it with a well. A well, that is where you come and you get water if you don't have a faucet in your house, right? My grandpa was a little boy. They didn't have a faucet in their house, but they didn't have to go up to a well like they did hundreds of years ago. No, no they didn't. Why is that not shown? Oops. There. <clears throat> but <clears throat> he had a pump outside and that's where they got their water, right outside their house, yes. That's right. Well now, Jack and Jill, they lived probably like when my grandpa was, uh, before my grandpa, right? When you had to go way up and use a, a well that everybody else used. 
And they were told there by their mommy to go up and get some water. And here he is, Jack carries the, the pail and Jill's here to help, okay? Now that's a hill, you see the hill? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Well, up got Jack and home to trot as fast as he could caper to old Dame Dodd who patched his knob with vinegar and brown paper. And that's what they, that was the bandage, right? And I bet that vinegar really stunk. <laughs> so here we go. See if you can do this with me. Pretend you're going up the hill, up the hill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Well, up got Jack and home did trot as fast as he could caper to old Dame Dodd who patched his knob with vinegar and brown paper. Yeah, that's a great big bandage. And he's going to get all better. He'll get just, he'll be just fine. Well, I have kind of a long story today, but it's awfully cute. And it's by Jack Kent. And it's called The Caterpillar and the Polywog. <coughs> now, the caterpillar has six legs, and the polywog. Do you see any legs there? No, no. And the caterpillar lives up here on the trees, but the polywog has to stay in the, in the water, right? Right. The caterpillar and the polywog. <coughs> Excuse me. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamus and you and I get older, we get larger, especially hippopotamuses. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we just get bigger, right? Um, but not the <laughs> but not the caterpillar. And there she is down there. They turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not a thing just anybody can do. Excuse me. <clears throat> Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. Oh, she bragged to all her friends, when I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else. She told the snail. Well, that's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, uh, who didn't <coughs> much like wiggly things. <laughs> when I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had uh, circled the pond and was going, oh, sorry, I missed, I missed the page. I I did. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the polywog. Oh, what fun, said the polywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. Polywog saying, I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the polywog. Oh, you will, <clears throat> said the fish. All polywogs do. <coughs> What am I going to turn into? The polywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled the pond and was going around for the second time. When I grow up, she told the polywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the polywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so. The polywog told her, fish know things, they go to school. The caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. What are you going to turn into? The polywog asked. Well, 
I'm turning into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. And I guess I will too, the polywog said happily. What fun, let's do it together. All right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it alone. But I get to go first. <clears throat> the polywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. This is the tricky part, she said. The polywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said. And when I come out, I'll be a butterfly. Go ahead, the polywog said critic excitedly. I wanna see you do it. <clears throat> it will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight in the cocoon. And there's the cocoon. But a long time, <clears throat> for a long time, nothing happened. But the polywog was patient. He watched and he watched. So he doesn't have any legs here, but what's happening over here to the polywog? He is changing, right? His tail is getting shorter. He grew two little legs for days and days. And he grew two little arms and his tail got shorter and days. At last, there was act activity in the cocoon and the end of it opened and very slowly, the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. But look at the polywog. <laughs> he doesn't look like a polywog anymore, does he? No. <coughs> <coughs> The polywog was so excited, he hopped up and down with delight. <clears throat> I was so busy watching you, he said, I didn't notice what was happening to me. Huh. You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said, and she flew off to try her wings. But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. A caterpillar went by, wiggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He's looking at himself in the pond mirror. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <clears throat> now, here's something that you see outside are little ants, right? Little ants, big ants, and there are big black ants. Not this big. This is just a pretend one, right? It's a good marching song, right? Oh, the ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Can you do it with me? Oh, the ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Oh, the ants go marching one by one. The little one stops to suck his thumb and they all go marching down under the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. Well, the ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. Well, the ants go marching two by two. The little one stops to tie his shoe and they all go marching down under the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The only ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. All the ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. All the ants go marching three by three. The little one stops to climb a tree and they all go marching down under the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, the ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. Oh, the ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. Oh, the ants go marching four by four. 
And everyone stops to shut the door and they all go marching down under the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. All the ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. All the ants go marching five by five. The little one stops to look at a beehive and they all go marching down under the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. My gracious. <coughs> 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 <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you have a garden? How do you have a garden? Do you, do you grow anything that you can eat? Lots of us do. Some of us have um, tomatoes growing in pots or in, in just in the garden. And some people, we used to have carrots that grew under the ground, right? Here's, a, here's my big carrot. What color is that? Orange, right? <clears throat> and so this, this part goes under the ground and then up here, are the curly leaves that, that help it grow. So here we go. This is a little, this is a fun game. Pretend you're a carrot, okay? Nice Mr. Carrot <laughs> helps curly hair. His head grows underneath the ground, his feet up in the air. And early in the morning, I find him in his bed. I give his feet a great big pull and out comes his head. <clears throat> yes, some vegetables grow underground <clears throat> and some grow on top, right? Nice Mr. Carrot helps curly hair. His head grows underneath the ground, his feet up in the air. And early in the morning, I find him in his bed. I give his feet a great big pull and out comes his head. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's see, I lost my fish here. Now, I have a book here called Growing Colors. A lot of these I've, I have had in my yard. I have raspberries and I have blueberries right now. Um, and I just let the birds eat those. They like. So Growing Colors by Bruce McMillan. And it's a very simple book, but it's a lovely um, picture book of things we eat and the different colors. There are growing colors. Growing colors. What color are you wearing today? This is red. Red raspberries. I still have a few out in the backyard. Red raspberries. They're sweet. They grow in a bush. Now nah, we just, we know that, right? Orange. Orange carrots. Right? You see a little picture up there where they're just the top of them are uh, uh, above the ground and the rest of them are underground growing. Yeah. They are growing <laughs> in a row. Ah, green. What are they? Huh? Those are peas, green peas. They grow on a bush and they grow in pods. Look, they look like little boats, don't they? Right. Peas are green. Well, in the front of my house, I have what? Blueberries. They're blue, right? You like blueberries? <clears throat> They're very good for you, too. All these vegetables and fruits are purple, purple beans. I thought beans were green, but they come in different colors. And these are purple, purple beans, right? Tan, that's tan. It's not quite yellow and it's not quite brown. And that's the outside of a cantaloupe melon, right? It's orange inside, but it's tan on the outside. That is orange, and what fruit is that? It's an orange. <laughs> surprise, surprise, they grow on trees, but not around here. <laughs> brown, brown, this is a pepper. I didn't know they were brown. I knew some were red and some were yellow 
and a lot of them are green, but I didn't know they were brown too. Yeah, brown. <clears throat> oh, white. What is that? Do you know? It grows under the ground and it's an onion, right? An onion and it's white. White. Purple. There's something else that's purple. Those are purple plums. Right? Yellow. What is that? You know, that's corn, right? That's a corn cob. And the corn is on the cob, and all that fuzzy stuff we have to take off, that's called with corn silk. Corn is yellow. Red, <clears throat> red potatoes. Yes, those potatoes have red skins, and they grow underground too, right? But we know. The, the brown potatoes too, right? They have brown skins. Black, blackberries. Well, there used to be blackberries out in the back. I'm not sure that they're there anymore. Black, there are all the colors. And one that I must have skipped was the squash. And that was yellow. Let's see if we can find it. There, a summer squash. And it, here's a one that's ready to be picked. And here's a baby. And it still has the flower attached to it. Look at that. First, there's a flower. And then goes the vegetable. Right. Growing colors. So potatoes grow underground like the carrots and the turnips, right? So let's. Let's get our, <clears throat> our garden here. There are the potatoes. You see them? They're under the ground. They have leaves on the top that feed them and keep them healthy. <clears throat> and let's see if we can find poor potatoes underground, never get to look around, never get a chance to see a butterfly or bumblebee. Poor potatoes never look at the fishes in the brook, never see the sunny skies. What a waste of all those eyes. Let's get the sun out there. I forgot that one. There, <clears throat> there we go. <coughs> Potatoes need sun too, for their leaves to grow nice and healthy. Poor potatoes underground, never get to look around, never get a chance to see butterfly or bumblebee. Poor potatoes never look at the fishes in the brook, never see the sunny skies. What a waste of all those eyes. Now what? on earth, we call them eyes. You see those little dimples? Those are the potato eyes. And if you cut them out and plant them, you'll have a whole new plant, right? And grow more potatoes. Well, let's see, I have a baby here. <clears throat> and this is an old, <clears throat> an old nursery song. And uh, as I said last year, uh, last week, uh, <clears throat> Crow and caper are the sounds babies make when they're laughing and giggling and gurgling. And um, the coral shells are what people long ago hung over the cribs to ward off illness and evil. So here we go. Dance, little baby, dance up high. Never mind, baby, mother is by. Crow and caper, caper and crow. There, little baby, there you go. Up to the ceiling, down to the ground, backwards, forwards, round and round. And this little baby and mama will sing with a merry coral and a ring ding ding. So I guess when the breeze blew, the coral would sort of knock together and, 
and make a pretty sound, right? Dance, little baby, dance up high. Never mind, baby, mother is by. Crow and caper, caper and crow. There, little baby, there you go. Up to the ceiling, down to the ground. Backwards, forwards, round and round. Dance, little baby, and mama will sing with a merry choral and a ring a ding ding. Oh, such a sweet, sweet feeling. Well, <clears throat> here's Nicholas Ned. Now, what did we say he, he had on his head? A turnip, right? And that grew underground too. Well, here he's, he's just forgot his keys. He doesn't know where, what time it is. He's late. Oh my goodness me. He was very upset. <gasps> Nicholas Ned, he lost his head and put a turnip on instead. So here we go. Oh, Nicholas Ned, he lost his head and put a turnip on instead. But alas, ah me, he couldn't see. He thought it was night and went to bed. <laughs> Goodness. <clears throat> Sometimes we all get all upset and, and people say, oh, she lost her head. Do something silly and not without thinking, right? Oh, Nicholas Ned, he lost his head and put a turnip on instead. But alas on me, he couldn't see. He thought it was night and went to bed. Well, that's a silly nursery rhyme, isn't it? <laughs> kind of fun though. Well, let's see. I think I still see the sun up there, right? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my moonshine, my only moonshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my moonshine away. You are my star shine, my only star shine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my star shine away. There. I think it's time for our bye bye song, don't you? I think so. So bye-bye to Jack and Jill and bye-bye to Uncle Sam and bye-bye to my baby and Nicholas Ned. It's time to say goodbye and bye-bye to all my friends. Now hope to see you next week. And next week will be July 4th, our celebration of our uh, holiday, our, our birth of our nation, of our USA. But of course, you can watch it anytime. It doesn't have to be on July 4th, right? You can watch it at Christmas time if you'd like. <laughs> Okie doke. Bye bye, everybody. Good to see you.